um, I just want to say, as of now, we have reported 34 countries that are represented here, of which 23 of them are African countries. And our registered participants who are here are over 400. And that is a huge achievement that we want to celebrate. We continue to emphasize equity, equality for all girls and boys. That is very important for us. And this conference has taken a lot of lessons around what it means when you're talking about equity for girls, uh, boys, and youth. We have noted uh, quite pleasingly that government and policymakers are committed to the issues of psychosocial and mental well-being. Uh, for EAC and SADC, for them to be able to implement the frameworks and the guidelines that they have, that requires resources. And so the issues of allocating specific budget allocation that allows for programming and services for children, adolescents, and youth that consider psychosocial and mental well-being is very, very important. During this forum, we have learned and we appreciate that, yes, much of the focus was on empowering the girls, empowering the girls, which is okay. But in line with our theme of equity and equality, we have also noted that you cannot just empower the girls and leave behind the boys. We need to empower both girls as well as the boys. It is very important. The issue of inclusiveness is critical. Leave no one behind. Leave no child behind. I think out of this forum, we noted that most of our resources were not as friendly to people living with disability. So we need to consider that going forward, that psychosocial care and support programming should also consider children who are living with disability. I'll start off by addressing and responding to the question by Peter from Kenya from Total News. What is different with this forum is that, one, there's growth in terms of participation. Um, and besides the growth in terms of participation, what we're also noticing is that this, the people have been able to bring the evidence, but to show the practical aspects of the evidence. There are some conferences that you would go to, and the evidence is so high level. But what was significant here, which is different from our last psychosocial care and support forum, and one professor has just given us the feedback, that this was so practical. And we got someone from Botswana uh, beginning to speak to someone from Kenya to say, how do we move forward? We've been able to bring those people together and help them to respond. So more and more, the forum is ensuring that people are sharing the experiences. And they're sharing the experiences from a, what we would call practice-based evidence. Right? They're not just talking, but they're sharing practice-based evidence of things that they've actually tried out. Now I'll speak specifically as to what go there for going forward with regards to REPSI working with media. We do not want this to be an event done. We are saying you have learned we want you to help REPSI to educate more of your media contacts back home in your respective countries. So we are committed as REPSI 
to do the national workshopping, which you need to pick and discuss soon after this media press with your country director or country representative. We are not looking at this as an event, like I said again. We want you to continuously work with REPSI until we get to the next psychosocial support forum. We would like to see and to feel that you are a different media personnel based on the way you report on children's issues and based on the way you interact with children's issues when you are reporting. Again, I would like to say we do have a lot of work ahead of us. As you all heard in the presentations over the last two and a half days now, psychosocial and mental well-being is for everybody. Everybody, me and you, psychosocial care and mental well-being is for everybody. So the hashtag PSS for all is a lifetime Hashtag. Thank you.